Trev. I got a script for you. This thing is grade A pure gold. It's like Return of the Living Dead meets Bridges of Madison County. Only better. Close your eyes and picture this. A top secret military aircraft carrying top secret cargo fucking explodes in midair after an engine malfunction. And the debris rains down over a secluded wheat farm in the middle of nowhere. What's this top secret cargo, you ask? Dead soldiers that have been reanimated into zombie super soldiers. The echoing explosion wakes up the missus, and she's like, Oh, honey, what was that? You need to go outside. I'll check it out. But that's a bad idea, because our super soldier zombies are ready for war. Ah, the zombies have I fucking failed. This farmer is now the last line of defense to prevent a global, global, global zombie, zombie, zombie outbreak, outbreak, outbreak. Ah. Run! I'll take care of this shit. God. So, hello, everybody. Welcome to the last DLC of Far Cry Five: uh, The Dead Living it's Zombies. The middle of middle America. Zombies on the doorstep. Yeah. Our farmers got like mysterious containers to shoot up. Let's call them mutation stations. Sure. It's why not? Night. And, uh, about make it a clear night. The lens flares will look much better. Yeah, I love it. Your cinematic signature is going to be all over this. It's like that, but I have a feeling that my, uh... Oh, shit. Okay, well, the shotgun can actually fucking connects. will be better. Oh, all right. So I looked up at and these mutation oh, oh, oh. stations would have glass capsules filled with zombie making goo. I can okay. just imagine our hero busting open that glass with some bullets. Yeah. Ah, yeah so fucking fucking badass. Badass. So yeah, I don't know too much about it. Uh oh shit, do I actually have to like Go. Um. So I know there's an there's seven movie pitches. That's what all this is is movie pitches. And uh, I know there's seven of them. And there is an achievement for getting a gold rank on all seven. Christ. And just before recording this, actually, I looked up and uh, a Reddit thread about the game. And there seems to be mixed feelings on it. Um, the one thread I looked up was a guy uh, explaining why it isn't as bad as people make it out to be. And uh, I don't know whether or not to believe him. I mean, it is a zombie thing, so you know there's that. Uh, and I don't know, like, uh, bas like already I can tell that. Uh, these zombies are going down easier than the ones that I was fighting in the one Our arcade map that I was playing. And has to deal with more zombies. Mm, we need a set piece here. It's not a shed. It's where they store gas. Yeah, that is the kind of mainstream that this idea needs. Oh God. I mean, that had to have taken out the glass vials in the thing. Or oh, I mean, it got most of them. Oh my God, LMG ammo. You stay dead, bitch. Let's see. Ooh, this should be good. This thing was fucking made for zombie killing. There we are. All right. Uh, so yeah, there's seven. I looked up how long it takes to beat it, and apparently it's like only like two hours. Oops, two hours long. Like even like completionist was two and a half hours. Uh, it also looks like I had. It's a zombie with its skull opened, brain exposed, and it's leaking toxic goo. Of course it is. Mm, that's gross. <laughs> you want me to explain what happens when our hero headshots him? <laughs> nah, I'm good. Oh. Oh, well, yeah, when I headshot them, but not when I just run them over with my tractor that regenerates because apparently my, uh, oh, oh. All right. Let's line up on this here. 
Now, I wonder how dumb these zombies are. Because in theory, right, like, I don't think, like, the zombies would be able to... Oh, there we go. I mean, they're pretty dumb, apparently. God, I wish that there was, like, an actual, like, aim function when you're in a vehicle, but I guess that would be a bit much, wouldn't it? Um, yeah, with the seven movie pitches and two hours, that doesn't really... Oh, achievement already. All right. Fertilizer. Oh, yeah, and I do believe that there's also, like, an, a, a, an achievement specific to each to each movie, and, uh, did I get them all? No, oh, yeah, there it is. Oh, oh, come on. You can do it, tractor. Oh, there we are. There we go. Let's move on to the, the next. The crew is making dead dogs come back to life. No, audiences will not like the idea of dead dogs. Did I say dead dogs? I mean, I mean, like, zombie wolves. That's, I mean, still, I guess it's not dead dogs, but, I mean, it's still similar enough. Also, does this tractor just, like, make you invincible in this? Like, because, I mean, I don't, like, especially if you have the skills from your single-player carryover. Oh, well, that sucks, and I actually got to get out. Too bad. Oh. Damn it, I ran out of fucking pistol rounds. Nope. I also don't like how like the shotgun blast is only taken out like ow, ow, ow. Frick. Oh, piss off. They don't also have fucking like warning markers for these things. It's like I don't like detection markers, I guess, like until I get hit. So it's like I don't even get a chance to like see them coming. It's just all of a sudden I'm being attacked. There we go. That's that. Yeah, I guess I'll just leave the tractor behind. Ooh, what's this though? More ammo. Ooh, I'll take that though. Get more handgun ammo. Should I? Yeah, fuck it. Man, I'm getting a lot of ammo, but I don't have a huge amount of guns, which is odd. You get a zombie. You get a zombie. You get a zombie. Everybody odd. gets zombie. So I guess I didn't do that that in the uh, in the actual let's play. But the guy who's pitching this movie idea, the guy Marvel guy, um, he's actually in the game, and. Uh, you do a but you do a little bit of like a zombie movie thing with them, but you actually have to like attract the, the angels to the set, and then uh, he's like, oh, "Okay, I'll do this, do this, do this to them, and whatnot." And uh, it's a pretty decent. I think there's like two or three different side missions with them. Uh, they were all right. I mean, there were nothing special. It was just basically fighting a bunch of the angels. Oh, fuck. Over and over again. Hey, are you... Yeah, frick. So, also, according to the tip screen, whenever a zombie dies, I absorb bullets from their body. Which is weird, but, you know, whatever. Uh, because imagination, by the way. Like, apparently a lot of stuff happens in this DLC just because. Uh, which is funny, because, I mean, it is a movie. I don't... Oh, come on. God, do they fucking spawn zombies literally on top of me? I know you did similar stuff in that TV show, but imagine it was done better. I won awards for that show. And you lost a bunch. Hmm. You know what? I'm gonna pass. Your idea was pretty basic. I'm the one responsible for the pizzazz. Uh, come on! Wait, was that it? Oh, well, no wonder this DLC is so short. I expected them to be... <laughs> this pitch is fucking done. 
And now I unlock score attack. So I think, like, because, like, the zombies keep spawning. I think for, like, the gold, obviously we're not going to worry about score attack in here uh, during the Let's Play. But, like, co-op is tougher than solo. Yeah, apparently, like, to get the gold scores on all of them. I see, did I actually unlock the shit? Uh, I guess not, because I didn't have a score attack on there. Um, apparently, if there's certain ones that are significantly easier to get in co-op for the gold, but they are all doable in in solo. And if we look at my achievements, I actually did go back and get the uh, complete the seven movie pitches. See, now this was one that worried me is kill five thousand. Uh, okay. So yeah, I still haven't done New Game Plus with Infamous. I have taken down John on Infamous now. But I just it's not a very good game to begin with. And you can't really rush through the game because of the way that they have the boss battle set up to require resistance points. It's still not hard. Like, uh, Infamous difficulty doesn't necessarily make it harder. It just makes it more annoying because they just turn up the damage they do and the damage they take, so... God, that's not creepy at all. Huge fan of your award-winning character-driven war movies. Thanks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How about making one that's so intense it'll give the audience PTSD? Get ready for the best elevator pitch ever given in an elevator. Picture this. God. An elite spec ops team. They're fucking lighting up the undead on a dilapidated bridge. They're isolated, surrounded by water, but they give no fucks because. They're the best. Yeah, we fucking rock. Eat shit, zombies, scum. Killing zombies? Yeah, they can do that all day with the right support, of course. But sometimes support fucks up. Supporting. Oops. You guys trapped us on the wrong side. I'll send my guys ahead. We're gonna need ammo. What happens when the bullets run dry and mission annihilation turns into mission survival I say shit. Only way we're gonna live is by surviving. Man, I hope that a war where the enemy's already dead. That's half interesting. I mean, is it though? I feel like that's a lot of zombie movies. I mean the first guy Our said it was very generic. Has to get to the ammo drop. Or else they die and become the enemy. Okay, okay. Yeah, I'm seeing this. Alright. Got a nice mounted gun here, though. Not that it does anything. Get to the fucking weapon drop, really? Wow. Oh, so I think that there's a part... Because I do believe that... Like, I think all my secret achievements are just uh, doing the weird stuff in, uh, in this DLC. Like, getting the tractor kills and whatnot. The 405 and the 101 fucked each other! This bridge would be the offspring. So it's moving backwards. What? Why is the... What? <laughs> I don't... Okay, is that like a joke? That like the traffic is moving backwards on those bridges? I don't get it. So our hero goes by the corpse of a squad mate. Next to him is a sweet ass weapon. You're focusing on the weapon and not the fallen comrade? Oh, our hero knew this guy would be the first to go. Sure. But uh, where the fuck do I go is the real question here. Because, I mean, all I see is a bunch of fire that I probably shouldn't try to run through, if I had to guess. I mean... Oh, here we go. Door. Aha. Oh wow, my uh, double barrel was way better. Yeah? Prick. Alright. I mean... I, sh I mean, he did say this was a sweet-ass weapon, but it is just an assault rifle. Check for more... things. Nothing, alright. Uh, cause I know that to get the, uh, the gold medals in these, you're supposed to, like, go for headshots and whatnot, but... Uh, they, I also read on that thingamabobber that I was reading, uh, that, like, even on the, uh, harder difficulties, it wasn't that hard, but I don't know that there is a difficulty in this. 
Oh. Man, the, uh, the amount of times that these things hit you. These things are also, by the way, like, the one reason why, like, I was oh, a little bit worried about this DLC uh, was honestly because of the, uh, the arcade map that I played that involved them. Because, like, the arcade map that I played that involved them. The zombies were fucking such bullshit. Like, even headshots weren't, like, headshots weren't taking them out. Oh, my God. God, this gun sucks. Okay. Alright. Listen here, you motherfuckers. Yeah, fucking badass spec ops soldier, eh? Right. that reloaded oh, yeah because that's what I want to pull out okay that one there we go got that one okay so headshots do just straight up kill them which is nice I also noticed, like, in, like, for some reason, like, the auto-aim in this has really been, like, well, more or less eliminated entirely. Ow, ow. Ow. Okay, that one, that one. Oh, my God, are you fucking kidding me? I'm really hoping that destroying these fucking things will fucking stop these guys, but there's so fucking many of them. Maybe I shouldn't even be bothering. I'll also notice that, like, every once in a while, like, I don't know, maybe there's something wrong with, like, oh, that was a good fucking double headshot there. All right, are you fucking kidding me here? Like, Ain't get that one. Oh my god, fucking destroy it. I... Ain't gonna go. I don't know if this is helping or not. You know what? I'm just gonna go. Because I think that uh, destroying those things does give you points, but don't like give you. But like, I somehow I doubt that they're all that useful in, uh, in this. DLC. Okay, so I have a different shotgun here. It's the double barrel, which is significantly stronger. So a gas truck leaked gas, and now it's a road of fire, baby. Yeah, it what is. Does this mean to the hero? Uh, the fire represents the, the, their anger issues. It's, you know what? Of dealing with Since it, all I have to do is just it? make okay. it to the end of this, right? Okay. So then there's a flipped train. <gasps> Shit themselves. Go. Alright. Apparently this thing doesn't want to explode. There it goes. Oh god. Is there a way to show something about the main character? We are! They know how to explode things. I mean, technically everybody knows how to explode things, especially, you know, somebody who has a gun. And, you know, see something big and red, that obviously means that it'll explode if you shoot it. And come on, that's just, you know, physics. So wait, now, if I'm not mistaken... The bridge. In my career. You say something? Nope. Does that work? No? What about if I do it here? Oh, okay, didn't expect to die. I actually specifically read them, tried to jump off the bridge that you wouldn't die. 
and that you know you just got teleported back into the action which i feel is bullshit since i just jumped off the bridge and died zombies don't give a shit about fire that's a good and a bad thing how is that a good thing like seriously i feel like that's all bad if they don't care about fire I also just realized what the little loading icon was. If you're watching this on a video streaming site, really? <laughs> wow. All right. Yeah, let's do... Oh, my God. I didn't realize I'd have to fucking restart the entire fucking thing. Man, if I had known that, I wouldn't have bothered to try and get that. You know what? I'm just going to try and book it then. So it's moving backwards. Nope. Up and over. Up and over. Up. Aha. Uh -huh. The no downside of all around, zombies. No dialogue, just a zombie massacre. Just a zombie massacre? <laughs> There's these mutation stations and goo and mayhem. All right. Oh, God. Fucking Christ. So that's why they put those things there that you actually have to deal with. You know, I can't help but feel like the number of barrels a shotgun has doesn't really affect, you know, how powerful it is. Oh, and I still have a gun. All right. Where the fuck did I get this from? Okay. There we are. Don't know where I got that from, but I'll take it. Fuck you. Now then, if you don't mind, fucking explode. It doesn't take two shotgun blasts to destroy this. To destroy a fucking glass vial. Okay, are you fucking kidding me? Fucking piss off. You know, I guess I, I don't know what I was expecting. It uh it is still zombies. I mean like I was hoping since it was Far Cry that they might do something, you know, a little different. But no, it's still just a mass of running zombies, which is the worst kind of game that there ever is. Like I feel like the only game that's ever done zombies right is uh honestly Resident Evil. I mean Because, you know, the zombies, they're, like, even in, like, 4 and 5 and that, like, they, it makes more sense, like, because they're for a video game, right? Oh. Like, uh... What? How the fuck did I get hit? Okay, how am I getting hit from behind? There's nobody behind. Okay, is there, like, somebody, like... Was there, like, somebody in the fucking vehicle that was, like... Will it, though? I didn't even see this last time I was here. No. Oh, my God, dude. You gotta stop. Because, yeah, like, the Resident Evil zombies, like, like I said, even in, like... The later games where they're not all slow. See, now look, I have another detection marker behind me, and I can't help but... And I can't help but feel like something is, like, got glitched in the bug, like, yeah, like, glitched into the fucking school bus there or something, because I was getting hit from behind up there without actually, you know, being up there. If you were to put the story beats on a graph, this would be the low point in the movie and <laughs> the bridge. In my career. You say something? <sighs> nope. Oh, now, man, I feel like this guy's already... Literally nowhere to go. Literally. Maybe we can hear the hero's inner monologue. There's despair, loss... Oh, there we go. Grapple. they can just use a cool grappling hook! Of course. Because why not? Me. Uh, but yeah, like, because too many games, like, because... Like, Dead Rising, for example, right? Like, 
super popular zombie thing, right? Fucking can't stand it. Uh, Call of Duty Zombies. It, I mean, it's, it's shit. It's just utter garbage because all it is is just a horde, which I understand, or like Left 4 Dead. Because in all honesty, I actually don't mind Call of Duty Zombies very much because it's not like they're really trying to tell a story. Right here. The hero sees that a zombie has turned their buddy into an all-you-can-eat buffet. And how does this make the character feel? So hopefully it grows the fuck out. Oh. Bugger off. Alright. Because, yeah, like, uh, it... Like, if you're trying to tell, like, a story in that, like, they just... Like every, pretty much every zombie game out there, like I said, they don't, they don't play to like how you would, like, it, I mean, I guess trying to say something about being realistic in a zombie game is a bit, is probably asking for a bit much, but like if zombies actually happened, right, like you wouldn't want to be rushing through everything, you would want to take your time and make sure that everything's going and like plan shit out and that but like they never let you do that in most zombie games like uh like i said except for really resident evil like you play dead rising and all it is is just massive hordes of zombies uh you play left for dead and once again all it is is massive horde of zombies just constantly and like they even like even if you like you try and take your time then they still because like in all honesty left for dead i would fucking love left for dead if it wasn't for the hordes that showed up just randomly like i think that left for dead would have been a much better game if it wasn't oh what is it called the director okay. if it wasn't so like as randomized as it is Zombies are there having a freaking zombie feast. What are you trying to say here about the homeless issue? Uh, that homelessness is, is bad. Really going out on a limb with that, huh? <laughs> Look, homelessness is a real important issue for me. I want everyone in the world to have a home and a shelf filled with Blu-rays of all the movies I make. <laughs> Ow. Fire. Um... But yeah, because, like, like, honestly, like, Left 4 Dead is one of those games where, like, I enjoy it until, like, I play it. Because, like, I hate being forced through something, right? Like, it's why I hate time trials and stuff. It's, like, and things like that. Like, I don't mind, like, the occasional chase sequence or something. Oh, there we go. But just having, like... The main character gets to the ammo drop, and there's... Da -da -da -da! A new gun! One more character? How about a fucking zombie Sasquatch character? Boom! Plot twist! In your bite your face, zombie! God, a zombie Sasquatch, eh? Sadly enough, not the oh not the first Sasquatch we fought. Ow, ow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fire, fire, fire. Fucking jumping bullshit needs to stop though. Oh goody, he's just a giant bullet sponge. I do like this little vector that they gave me though. Ow. Yeah. Ow. Okay, I may have went a little. Okay, let's try this then. There we go. It ends on a duel with a monster. Of course it does. Oh, our hero sees a way out. Do we now? But then something happens. Oh god, there's gonna be another horde mode here, isn't there? No. I mean I'm hearing things. What's that? More zombies! Which, of course, you know, the zombies are smart enough to know to go behind the gun. Oh my god. 
Man, if you're not fucking ready on this fucking gun right at the beginning, or if you make the mistake of getting it turned around like I did, it becomes fucking worthless, doesn't it? Oh. Fuck you. God, alright. Nope, I don't have fucking time for this. Right. God damn it, if I hadn't got this gun turned around. At least the, uh... At least they all seem to be coming over this part of it now, which is nice. Okay, although every once in a while, they don't seem to really give a fuck about the, uh, the bullets. There we go. No, nope, I still see more coming. Like, holy hell. How many are... Uh, like, am I supposed to, like, be moving forward or something here? Like, I honestly don't know. Like, as far as I'm aware, I should just stay on this gun forever. Because, like, I don't really feel like I... Like, that's the other thing, too, is, like, whenever they have zombie games like this or, like, Left 4 Dead, it's always, like, when exactly do I move forward? Like, if there's never a break in the zombies, how do I... Like, when should I move forward? It really, it really throws out a lot of pacing. Because, you know, obviously, since it's a video game, it's up to the player when to move forward. And if you don't give them, like, an like any kind of indication as to when they're supposed to move forward it's like well what the fuck like when do i when do i do it then like right now i'm just mowing down zombies and it oh well, it looks like there's only one left fucking die already god damn bitch okay there we go the hero sees a checkpoint. It's the end. Or is it? Of course not. What does our well. hero find at the end? Another soldier who sees our hero as just another zombie. Bam! Headshot. Roll credits. <laughs> I'm really? gonna pass. Seems heavy on the action and light on character development. Speaking of development, huh? How about a development deal? How about you leave now and I won't press charges? I mean, they could very easily actually make a movie similar to that. I mean, like, going across a big fuck-off bridge during a zombie thing, you know? Like, I could actually see that being, like, a somewhat decent movie. You know, if you take out the Sasquatch and maybe make it a little bit more tactical. Because, like I said, just massive hordes. Like, I think that's one of the reasons why everybody's, like, really sick and tired of like zombie movies zombie games zombies zombie. because that's pretty much all they've turned into now is just oh here you're this character and then there's a million zombies and that's all there is to it at all like that's that's it like even and then it's like oh but now they're slow oh but now they're fat it's like it's still just a million zombies on the screen like that's why everybody's getting bored of them is because you don't do anything with your zombies everything is just the same thing because, you know, Left 4 Dead and Dead Rising became really popular with, like, their massive hordes of zombies. Because I think those were the first two games to really do that. I mean, that I can remember. I'm probably way off on that. But they're the two most popular ones that I can think of that do zombie hordes. Listen, I know you're the number one chick flick director in Hollywood. I think of them as sprawling romantic epics. You need to branch out. I got an epic supernatural love story for you. Picture this. We rip off Romeo story. and Juliet and set it in a zombie-filled world. Huh, that's halfway original. Romeo's gang is turbo-pissed and grabs him. They put him in a coffin. They're gonna bury him alive, not because he banged the enemy, but because he fell in love. Romeo's gonna die and turn into a limp-dick zombie. The ultimate punishment. Juliet's like, look at that shit. I'm going to waste it anyone who gets betwixt Romeo in my loins. <laughs> I mean, I've seen 
modern movies that use like the old English language like that, they're not good. I, I would I would highly recommend not doing that. Because Romeo was being buried alive by his own gang. I got it. Uh because yeah, like I can't remember what it was called. There was uh, there was one with fucking Vinnie Jones in it that was like a war movie. And it was fucking shit. And then there was another one with Mila Jovovich, I think. That I think it actually was a Romeo and uh, Juliet thing. I like I think that was part of the title or something. The graveyard's like a perfect place for my Hitchcock style cameo. It'll be a statue. That's an expensive cameo. How can you put a price on art? I mean, is it uh an expensive thing? I mean, I get that it's not like it has to be a real statue. I mean, it is a movie. It just has to look like a statue, right? Oh, and there goes a bunch of my SMG ammo. All right. Well, let's see. Did he put anything at the statue since he was nice enough to throw one out? Oh, what's this? That's weird. All right. Uh, okay, I'm guessing I need to go. I mean, I need to make it towards, like, I obviously need to head towards the big church, but there we are. That's better. I mean, that still didn't actually give me all that much SMG ammo. That's a shame. Uh-oh. That sounds like a lot of bad in behind me. Yeah, it is. Let's just uh, see if I can leave them behind. I don't know if they'll ever yeah, lose me in zombies. this, though. Behemoths. They throw pus and have jacked up arms. Basically, my agent. <laughs> Your agent throws pus? Yeah, see, now these guys here are the ones that I really hated from the, uh, the arcade map that I played. And there was a lot of them. Cause like they fucking one shot you whether they punch you or do uh or do their spit thing and uh shockingly enough the things with the giant glowy sack on their back also explode when they die and then there's this cool part where julia remembers that she hit something sentimental nearby so she uses her grappling hook to get it grappling hook because grappling hooks make everything more badass. Yeah, they do. Oh. See, now, right now, I feel like I'm playing a Call of Duty Zombies map right here. Because <laughs> I'm just running around, turn, shoot, run, turn, shoot, run, turn, shoot. But yeah, like, you see what I mean about these things? Like, they're... Like, they're just bullshit. Like, they're just 100% horseshit. Oh my god, so there's a thing over there that I'm supposed to be heading towards, but is that... Anything up here? A bunch of ammo, which is obviously a little nice, but... Also, did that big guy die yet? Nope, he started throwing shit. Oh! Oh god. Infinite sprint, thank you. There he goes. Alright. I'm wearing a skirt. Maybe. I don't know. It looked like a cheerleader skirt, which was weird because, you know, the character that they showed us there did not look like somebody who would be wearing a cheerleader outfit. Alright. Oh, of stations. course. An evil corporation made goo that reanimates the dead. How is that for pizzazz? To me, stuff like this really distracts from what's really just a simple story of two people. I'm trying to make the whole two lovers against all odds thing more against all odds -y. Hey. Oh my god, don't tell me. Okay, no, alright. I was gonna say, don't tell me they put the fucking big guys in there. Ow, ow, ow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that is a dead guy. That's... See, I also don't quite understand. Like, I know that these things produce zombies. Okay. But the thing I don't know about them is, like, whether or not, like, starting to, like, how fast or any, like, exactly how they work, you know? Like, I know that because of them, the zombies will keep coming until they're destroyed. But that's another thing that I fucking hate about a lot of zombie games, right? Because it's like... 
they they never have it so that once again that there's like a break in the zombies so that you can destroy the things like look at this right now like look at this horse shit like my goal right now destroy those things right okay so i have to shoot them it takes two shotgun blasts which is bullshit um or it takes like a bunch of pistol rounds i don't have time to fire off uh and then it's just like well all right but at what point here am i supposed to have the opportunity to destroy these things like i don't like i don't have the option to destroy these things oh hang on though i do have that and uh, see and like that there it destroyed like one of them like what the fuck is the point, like, you gave me explosives for this nonsense. And then the explosives do jack shit. Once again, I would like to remind you that those are glass vials. That, uh, apparently are in these things. And yet, explosives don't fucking do anything. It takes two blasts from a shotgun to destroy them. I have more of this, I do. Like, look at how many fucking, like, of these rounds it's taking. Like, it's... I don't know. Like I said, it's my issue with the majority of zombie games out there. It's why I fucking hate Left 4 Dead. It's why I fucking hate Dead Rising. The worst part about Dead Rising is, uh... There was, like, a really good sale on the Dead Rising games on the Xbox at one point. And I actually picked up all of them plus their DLC because I had never really played them before. But everybody was like, oh, they're such good games, right? Like, everybody's like, oh, man, Dead Rising's the best. Yeah, I never made it through the first one. Like, it also didn't help that Dead Rising is uh, one of those games where it's like, oh, you got to die a bunch. Like, you have to lose the game a bunch just to even have a chance. Because, like, your stats in that carry over. And it's like, all right. But, I mean, wouldn't it be better if you didn't have that? Like, you know, if you just made it, like, more or less doable on the first go so that the player didn't have to repeat the same fucking opening sequence, like, a million times? What? No? I'm wrong? All right, sure. Because, once again, like, right? Like, it's, it's one of those ones where... Everybody fucking church. loves it, and yet they complain about similar things. Juliet has to climb over it using her superpowers. A nice idea, but I want it to be more grounded in reality. They'd be scaffolding all around the church. Oh, there we go. Um, like there's so many things, right? Like if, like, I don't know. Just like so many of the uh, of like the mechanics that everybody was like, oh man, they're the best in those games, right? In other games, you see similar mechanics, and they're like, what the fuck is this? And it's like, it's apparently something that you love, like, and it's just, it's always shit. Okay, let's just grab all of it. Why then, not? Juliet sees her lover's coffin, and the gang trying to bury him. Let me guess. She has to kill them all. Exactly! We are totally on the same wavelength, my man! Goodbye to that. Now, how strong is this gun? Okay, good. It is... A one-hit kill here. Oh. Nope. Oh. Stepped out a little bit further than I expected you to. Ow, what? Ow, what? Who dares? Fuck you. Really? He's gonna shotgun me? Alright, this... The fuck, dude. This guy here just refuses to fucking die. The hell? I know at least one of those fucking hit him. Okay, are you fucking kidding me here? Fucking die already, you prick. Jesus Christ. Okay, I do see another enemy. Apparently somewhere. Uh, not... Oh, there he is. Where the hell is that guy going? Alright, well, fuck it, I'm coming down. 
members like, I'm gonna kill the hero. Of course they are. Because, you know, I just wiped them all out from up there, so why wouldn't there be more all of a sudden? Yeah, your buddy's down. You should probably help him. Ow, ow, ow. Oh, I don't want to be standing there, though. Rescue Romeo. Yeah, all right. I'm working on it. One left. There we go. can only come from the mind of an old virgin. Whoa, 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 whoa. I am a lot of things, but I ain't no virgin. And I'm not old. I just don't snort Botox every day like you. Oh, look. Security's here. Ah, I was just about to leave, asshole. <laughs> I mean, once again, it, it, it's not necessarily the worst movie idea ever. But I mean, it could obviously be better. I really am not looking forward to the score attacks for this. Like, because I do believe that the score attacks have a timer on them. Which obviously isn't going to be great. Let's see, we got four left. Definitely don't have time for another one. I'm hoping that I can get the other four done in the next part then. Uh, by the looks of it, the Fast and the Fiendish is all cars. So I mean... That should be a quick one, right? I guess it depends on how many of those fucking creation things I have to kill. Because the more goo machines there are, obviously, the longer it's going to take. It also didn't help that I jumped off the bridge and died for some reason. But, you know, whatever. So, yeah, thanks, everybody, for watching. And I will see you on Thursday for hopefully the next four movies in this DLC.